Hello everyone, my name is Johannes Schulz. I'm a colorectal surgeon in Norway. This video is to briefly inform you about the newly published ESCP guideline on diverticular disease. First, I would like to thank everyone who contributed to this guideline project. What makes this guideline so important is that we have reached a pan-European consensus on terminology, diagnostics and treatment in diverticular disease. This ESCP guideline was developed through a modified Delphi process with several voting rounds. Experts were invited to participate in the panel based on their publication record in the field of diverticular disease. In addition, national representatives from all ESCP member countries were invited to the main voting round. The final guideline contains 38 evidence-based consensus statements all supported by a short review of the literature. In addition, you will find evidence tables summarizing the most important articles to each topic in the supplements. There are three sections in the guideline I would like to highlight. First, we made a great effort <coughs> to define terminology like diverticular disease itself or uncomplicated and complicated diverticulitis. This is, I think, essential for all scientific communication on diverticular disease. Second, a consensus was reached that antibiotic treatment in uncomplicated diverticulitis is unnecessary, unless the patient has a sepsis or an impaired immune system. And third, prophylactic surgery based on the number of diverticulitis episodes is of the past. And there are few strong indications for elective surgery. The evidence on quality of life improvement is limited and patients should therefore be carefully selected and counseled. I certainly hope you will find some important information for your daily practice. Best wishes from me and I hope to see you soon at an ESCP meeting. That's all from Oslo. Bye bye.